Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your November astrology. And what a month we've got. Finally, the energies are lifting. And there should be a little bit more of internal calm. We have Mercury going direct on election day. We have the great Jupiter and Pluto conjunction, which none of us are going to experience this exact same conjunction in this format ever again for the rest of our lives. Some of us may say, thank, thank the goddess for that. But anyway, um, it's about transformation and change. It's about the evolution of our spirit, the evolution and, and emancipation of our spirit from something that needed drastic change. And drastic change has been happening to all of us individually and globally since April. And this is the final push forward. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty, pretty intense. And it's also a time where we do need to protect ourselves because everything is exaggerated around that time. So everything is spreading, everything is growing, everything is transforming. So keep yourself safe and focus on what it is that you want to increase in your life. And on another positive note, I am delighted to say that Mars, the planet of action, passion, energy, our driving force has been going retrograde for some time now. And it has been very, very draining for all of us. Now we can feel stoked again. Our passion and our mojo it is relaunched as Mars goes direct. Here's your November astrology. Hi, Divine Pisces. How are you doing? This is a tremendous week, a stunning week, a transformative week. You have been through quite a lot and you might have felt kind of misunderstood recently or just, you know, normally you can see the magic in situations and you can have empathy and understand everybody's point of view and you feel things and you're always giving out the love. But it's been quite a shady time for you where you've been like, oh, you know, this is just so feels like I'm wading through treacle. That is going to lift this week, starting with Mercury going direct and it's in your power zone. You're feeling more empowered with what you've got to say. You're diving in and understanding what's going on underneath the surface. You're seeing the mystery in life again, thank goodness. But then, of course, the most important event of this week is that Jupiter and Pluto conjunction. Now, since April, all of us have gone through a profound shift one way or the other. Do look at your rising sign as well for this because it's important. But fundamentally for you, it's about your connection. Sorry, Keeks. It's about your connection to the whole. It's about your connection, not only to other people, but feeling like you're part of the cosmos. It's about your magic. It's about who you consider your soul family. It's about how, what, you know, you, you being plugged into the mains and getting your voice across. It's about wider beliefs, like what you believe politically, what you believe in, what you want to be part of, what vision for the future of humanity you want to be part of, what ideas you want to put on the internet, how you express yourself for the world to see and how connected you are to everything. Super important. So since April, that has been changing. And now, you know, we're all coming into the birthing process where that's it. Here we are. And now this is the new phase for us. And the new phase for you is please to understand your power, your, to understand your power to attract what you need, you know, possibly attract things you didn't even know would be wonderful and marvellous. You have superpowers in attracting, cosmic ordering, drawing to you what you need. You, you When you find the right group energy, you, you feel empowered, you feel loved, you feel reassured, you feel a part of the magical uh, mystery of the cosmos. You know that you are, you are never alone because you are uh, interwoven into something much bigger uh, and you're aware of the eternalness of your soul. It's deeply profound, put it that way, but it gives you many gifts and it, it, one of them is the gift of connection. So that final process is happening uh, this month and in fact that energy is around you in all sorts of all sorts of ways. Now, Mercury's shifting from that very intense vibe to making you more excited, more optimistic, more thrilled by things that can go on in life um, after the 8th. Is it the 8th? Uh, hold on a minute. No, after the 10th. And you're feeling, uh, yeah, optimistic and excited and, and full of pleasure. Now, the sun is shining Neptune, further enhancing your belief 
in, in, in positive outcomes, your belief in possibility and your belief in magic. And that's always what I say to you, Pisces. You, it's very important that you believe in magic because you're a magical being. When you lose your belief in magic, it, it has an impact on your day-to-day -day existence on the earth. So just allow that magic. The sun, trine Neptune, is going is to remind you of the magic, wonder, and possibility. And it's very optimistic. Now, the new supermoon in Scorpio is in your adventure zone. And it's sextile Jupiter and Pluto in your connection zone. So there are wide experiences coming for you. Uh, there are big opportunities for you to see the world and experience things that you not necessarily physically see the world, obviously under current circumstances, but for some of you, you might suddenly travel. You might suddenly decide you want to live at the other side of the world. There, there's, there's just adventure and possibility uh, coming. And this new moon is like shoving you through to the next level of that. We then have Venus going into Scorpio. And for you, again, uh, the, the whole of this month is making you feel excited about life again, uh, feeling that, that you want to break out of patterns and routines. You want to express your divine, unique soul. You want to connect with people that are different. You want to explore your soul, the soul of other people, and literally explore ideas that you've uh, and experiences you've never had before. Neptune goes direct, which is big news. You know, it's it's actually quite good when Neptune goes retrograde because it allows you to be practical. But when Neptune goes direct, you feel much more yourself. It's like you know, someone takes away your magic wand. When Neptune's retrograde, you got it back. What are you going to conjure now that you are back to your magical self? What are you going to do with the with the magic wand that is you? And finally, uh, we have a Kiki. People are going to think you've got the fleas. She has a regular treatment. There's nothing wrong with this dog. Um, that's nervousness, anxiety. Um, yeah, so this full moon is a big, huge eclipse moon. And for you, it's connected to your home and family. There's a reveal, a truth. Uh, a peak experience connected to home and family that's ending this month. Remember, you are magical. You, you are able to feel your connection to everything. And now is the time to believe in that and watch the fabulous reality that you're going to create. Let us see what the tarot have to say. I won't pull that many because obviously I do the weekly. Uh, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, what do we got for you? Yeah, baby, the star, a great healing, deep inspiration. You, you are feeling the relief after the storm and you're seeing potential wonder, magic and healing all around you. I love this card. You know, your soul is healing and you are awake again to the magic. Exactly as the astrology says. The Two of Swords, now that's a major arcana. This is a minor arcana. You may feel that you can't make a decision at the moment. Well, if you can't make a decision, don't make a decision, but don't get stuck in the illusion that you don't know the answer because you know you have the answer within you and you have possibility within you. Yeah, as I said, go within the hermit. Go within to make the decision. Don't be persuaded by anyone else. Go within yourself. Look at your own light of wisdom and then make the decision. But these are powerful cards. And then guess what you've got? You've got the Ace of Wands, baby. This is the Ace of Fire, passion, and that sense of return, you know, returning to, to full force. So that's really, really good. Did I mention, um, where is that? Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't, don't think I mentioned Mars Direct for you, which is you feeling that you've got the power to create abundance. You've got your energy back when it comes to feeling secure again. And yeah, oh, you know, the fire is strong in you. Anyway, I hope you have a fabulous month, packed wall to wall with magic, wonder and miracles. Um, if you want to check out your compatibility with someone else, be that friend or lover, I do a free one on my website, michellenight.com. Obviously your birth chart. The new Celtic cross is up and running and also an audible Celtic cross. So if you... It, want to hear any more i'm sick of the my, sound of my own voice by the time I, I get to number 12 but if you want to hear more from me it's a randomized celtic cross where i i literally it's like having a personal reading with me for free on the website i love you i am sending you such positive vibes take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon michelle knight.com i was a client of michelle knight so i knew all of the the psychics and they'd read for me
it's such a innovative and really useful organisation to have at your fingertips. There are a lot of people who they have an idea of what a psychic reading is, they have an idea of you know what a psychic should and shouldn't do and a lot of it is from centuries gone by, you know, the, the carnival side show and Michelle really has brought psychics into the modern world. Michelle Knight is a wonderful organisation to work for. It's a unique family and that is readers, the customer service operators. I know if I wanted to choose a reading and I know I wouldn't go to another company. The ethics, the standard, the professionalism that we keep really is second to none. To be honest, I've never really looked at another reader service because uh, I don't think I need to. When I finally got the job, I, I pray that I will do well with all the tests that we go through. I was absolutely delighted. Well, the process of uh, being employed with Michelle Knight wasn't, wasn't an easy one, which is always makes it more rewarding when you do actually pass the, the four test readings that you have to go through before you're accepted. The interview process is actually reading for other people, reading for some of Michelle's staff as well. It's actually, you know, what they're looking for specifics, so surname, relatives, their names, they're looking for what happened two or three years ago in detail. To be sitting at home and then the phone rings, and this beautiful distinctive voice, it's Michelle Knight here, I'm ringing you for my test reading, is on the other end of the line, is scary. She, she really wants to know that her clients are getting validations. You get a sense that everybody running it is on the ball. The flexibility we get as readers, as well, it's just great. I do love the freedom of when I can work and when I can have a break. Michelle Knight family are amazing, really flexible, very supportive. It's like working for no other. It's authentic, that's a big thing, it's authentic. She genuinely cares about her readers and about the people that we read for, so it's inclusive. I love working for michelleknight.com. They're great people, it's a great energy there. She really cares about her readers getting the best and she really cares about the clients coming and walking away, you know, and feeling like they got what they came for. Working with Michelle Knight, I know that I've got professional backup and I know that the clients are looked after very well as well. Michelle's very involved with her readers personally. If you need information, you need anything from her, she will reply personally. I just love being part of a unique team, one of the most unique companies that, that I've ever come across.